Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the Hi everyone, how are you doing? Okay, if you're new to the channel, this is a live stream, so that means there's uh, people in chat, and if you give this 24 hours, then you will be able to view the chat as well as the stream, because um, I've had a few queries say that they can't see it, and I'm like, no, you have to just wait a little bit and it'll be there. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Okay, let's see who's here. Hi Kenny, hi Kat, hi you rebel, and um, Momo, Ali, uh, Melody, Shannon, <laughs> Hedwig, Cat. Uh, I don't know if I said Cat. Mary, who else we got? I don't know if I'm missing anyone, if I'm missing anyone I'm so sorry, Bratty Cat, <laughs> ah, can you all hear me? Hiya Danny. Okay, just a little heads up. I might get disconnected, reconnected, disconnected, reconnected. I don't know how to stop that. Um, it's playing up today, it seems. But let me know if you can hear me, see me. Uh, before I start talking. Hiya, Benita and Sarah. Okay. I think we're all good. Can you all see me and hear me? Give me a thumbs up just so I know. Hiya Kelly, hiya Emma and Stacey. Okay, so you can you can see what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I'm just reading the chat for a second to make sure that you can all hear. Oh, okay, right, perfect. Hiya Colourfully. The only reason I'm asking, as I said, I've put it right at the top of the chat. That's okay, B, are you like away, honey? Um... It's disconnected me and reconnected me, but when it disconnects me, I can't see my chat. So I was like, oh God, please don't do this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is this lovely lady out of Serenity. Um, Serenity, if you haven't seen it, is the Anastasia Ellie Calderiva book. And it's the one of hers that I've not coloured in, which is really bad. And uh, it was because I was in a bit of a slump. This happened when... Um, all the pandemic hit and I completely just lost where what I wanted to do so I've saved it until I felt up to things again and this was one of my favorites I've got quite a few favorites if you've not seen this book I'm pretty sure you would have by now but if you haven't and you're new um, let me move these a second because we're going to be using mixed pencils um, if you've not seen this hi you Pamela hi you Lou <laughs> Um, this is a single-sided, very smoothed paper um, book. Now, the paper is fairly good, although it's quite temperamental with media. If you're a pencil user, you might find there's a little bit of issue with layering up. And that is because there is really, really um, no tooth to the paper. And when you find that with, with pencil work, it's really hard to grab any pencils in there. Hi, Charlotte. That's okay, Pamela. I know. <laughs> I know the score. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Anyone else coming in? Mona. And everyone else is coming in. Um, so this is my other favourite. Just, just to let you know. I love that. I love them all. Um, but they're my two particular favourites that, you know, you've got this book as well, Melody. See, it happened all at the same time, didn't it? This came out literally before we went into a worldwide pandemic. And I think it just threw everyone. Um, so I think a lot of us forgot about this book or haven't felt the need. This was my absolute favourite of the book, like number one. Um, so there's three that were like crying out to me. But it's stunning and it is single-sided, which means you can use um, Copics. And we did use that on our mermaid that we did a long time ago. Hiya, Mandy. So it is a beautiful book. I absolutely love it. She's one of my favourite portrait artists. Oh, excuse me. You'd think I've not slept. Hiya, Becky. You finished Wolfie. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am half with it this afternoon. No, Lou, really? Oh. <gasps> See, it's without us realising it, it has it has made an effect on us, I think, on our creative spark. Hold on a minute, this is this year. We're in 2021, that's fine. 12 days is fine. I'm thinking last year. 
I haven't coloured. I've finished the colouring. I've finished the uh, the colouring heaven, the Christine Karen that we did on stream. And I do have Wolfie to finish. I've got a couple of whips. Love this one. Uh, colouring with Vicky did a gorgeous job on our channel on this one. Oh, just they're so beautiful. But this is also just I love this one. Obviously, that's why we're doing it. Um, turtles, but they're small. So I'll give them a little bit of a, a, a better time than my big turtle with Mythomorphia there. Um, just so much creativity into each of her drawings. I just love them. This one's quite heavily grayscaled. out. That's, well, that's still creative. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing this one today. Um, and if you wanted to know, hold on, this will take over my screen a second. Uh, they're the flowers beside them and if you are going to be doing this at any time and you wanted to and you didn't want to research um, I haven't coloured in this melody no oh thank you this is the name of the plant uh, that is in her hair and those uh, leaf green they're like fuller they look like mini aloe vera buds don't they oh thank you hi Ashley so this is the one today and as I said if you did want to jot it down, just pause your screen and um, screenshot or write it down. Stapelia or Orbea variegata, something like that. Okay, let me take that off the screen. Before I start anything, I want to show you some um, little bits. So, just a couple of bits of one is male that I got today. Uh, which is the new Mystic Art Mirrors. And the other thing I want to show you is a couple of, um, not ha it is a hashtag, it's not an event as such, but it's just a little prompt. So, first off I want to show you the um, Colouring Heaven Stash Attack. Now, I thought I'd do this as an all year kind of goal. Um, it's not so much a goal as for myself, it's a goal that I think all of us could use in the way of we've got an entire year to attack our stash so we've all got lots of issues well most of us have got lots of colour in heaven issues that we've not touched and they come in every month if you're a subscription um, member and we haven't touched them and I actually went through and I have got I'd say 90% of my stash has not been touched that is one of my little things that I'm gonna have to address and yes get on to so there is um in the description i've put a link to my instagram post regarding this and then not sure if anyone wants to join us but it's now turned into a huge huge body color so in the symphony of cute animals now there's no time limit as such i'm going to try and get mine done by the end of february uh, but there's no time limit so if you're wondering which one it's the symphony of cute animals and just to give you a little like show of it's turned into an event again the the um information is on my this one here it, the information is on my instagram and it's the new kanuko agusa one and as i said we can turn it into a giant body color it doesn't matter hi anyone coming on in hi you terrilyn i thought it would be so nice to do the birds of paradise together um, and hi you Molly and we could just all tackle it in our own style in our own way and now we're we're just doing this giant body color so you're more than welcome anyone to join in the hashtag for this just so I can find them all because I want to put them all together in one big collage is um, birds of paradise agusa I think it is didn't I call it that um, but again it's on my it's on my Instagram and my Instagram is in the description as well. So if you want to join in, you're more than welcome to join in on that. I've already printed off my reference pictures because I'm a geek. <laughs> and I, I really wanted to get my colours right. So let me show you my mail for today. My lovely hubby not hubby bought me this. Didn't you hubby not hubby? He's like nodding. <laughs> he, um, he bought me this. I was about to buy it and he was like, I get it for you. I was like, Really? Uh, so I bought the, or he bought me the version with the print and the postcard. Um, so it's the hard copy. You can buy this, or uh, 
a PDF copy or you can buy the physical copy and this is just so beautiful so just look at the detail isn't it stunning so this was the postcard that you get with it hi you Shana oh it's so nice to see you I hope you're keeping well and this is the A4 print which I really want to get a nice white frame for you know like the uh, buzz and chip portraits that I've shown you in the past I kind of want to get a nice it's like a glossy print and then of course the book now you've probably seen the book but I'm going to show you again and as you know this is quite a nice thick paper isn't it stunning Kenny I love it and it's signed when you get the hard copy as well so there's your first page which uh, she also did as a I think it was a big competition last month didn't she to win a, a or three copies and there was already it's already been done it's been and gone um but she, i know she did that oh the hedgehog it's so pretty and i love the hardback copies of her books because she gives you such a quality book for your money and the price of the book is actually not far off the price of the pdf shannon you, you love all the you love all the flowers Oh, isn't it? Hi, Katrina. I just love her stuff. And KP Colours, uh, she does a lot of her stuff and she does them stunning. Hi, you pickle. <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? I love, I love it. There is slight nudity, but you know, as I did with my other one, I put a little, um, a little brazi -arzi -arzi on her. <laughs> I put a little top on her. But you can just see this with kind of, this one would be good in Copics, I think. And then the others, can you can go to town with Water Media, um, which takes really well on these books. But they are stunning. So it's a bit of the woodland, it's a bit of the wild, it's a bit of everything you've got in this one. And I like it because it's got the animals as well. And they're mostly smooth coats, so even better. But they are... A really unique she's got such a unique style you can spot her style a mile off that's gorgeous that's like that tribal wear isn't it so you might need to just flatten her book down a bit which I will do when I you know color in it that one could be very Christmassy with the jingle bells on them and you could do that towards Christmas time and then this one is in more of like a circular portrait, which is beautiful as well. Hiya, Suze. Yeah, this one does have a name, honey. It's Into the Wild Colouring Book uh, by Mystic Art Mirrors. And look at even the cover of this one. The other ones have got a plain back. And this one, it hasn't. It's got all the, the illustrations. I love it. I'll put the link in the description after the stream for both the PDF and the book. But it is on Etsy. It is very different for her and I'm excited to see what she does next. I think it'll be so nice to see. Because she's pretty much covered like pirate girls. She's done the ocean. She's done uh, the wild. She's done very um, fairies. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see. Something mythological would be good from her. She's done witchcraft. She's done um, her... What was it? The three pack of Christmas girls. <laughs> Mandy. I can't help it. It's so beautiful. When something's as beautiful, it has to be shared. <laughs> that's how I see it. And that's what I'm, I'm providing a service. I am. Like, I'm showing you beautiful things so that you can decide if you like it or not. <laughs> uh, they're just so beautiful. And then that is the book so you get the book in this version you, you can buy just the book you don't have to buy the book with a print but this one in particular came with a print and with the postcard and then she always gives you some extras so the ones the extras that I've got in this one was the um, postcard of her Christmas girl um, the postcard of you know in her first one the daughters of the sea and this one actually says the voice of the sea speaks to the soul and then the cat with the fish, and he's a catfish anyway. <laughs> I just died when I saw that one. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, look. So that is the um, pack that I received. And even down to her envelope, look at the envelope. 
but this one as i said you don't have to buy this pack there are a couple of different packs but for the extra few pounds you get the print the postcard and the book um, so it wasn't that much more in price than just the book so i ended up buying well andrew i have to rephrase myself but we ended up buying andrew ended up buying <laughs> happy not happy <laughs> Uh, ended up buying me that one. He was like, I'll get it. So, spoil, I know I am, but there you go. <laughs> so, thank you to my hubby, not hubby, bless him. I did tell him this morning how much I loved it. Okay, and then I actually got a jumper that I got myself, um, like a sweater. I'm wearing it now, so it's just like a really comfortable, um, it's like a fuchsia pink. And have we got any Supernatural fans in the house? So I took a picture of it to send to my mum and to Winchester, Lou, um, because I wanted to show her. And I put it up on Instagram, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> so it's the Supernatural one. I am actually deleted my picture because I don't like keeping selfies much. Um, but it's this one. It's like a... It's It says Winchester Bros on it. It's like a... It's the emblem thing um for the devil's trap and it says saving people hunting things the family business so that came this morning as well and i was like i love it i actually bought it a bit a bit too big but i like big and baggy when i'm at home okay and i think that's all i have to show oh no no it's not this is the last thing <laughs> you can tell i'm at home <laughs> okay so this is the new eerie book now I understand some of you can't buy this at the moment on Amazon Japan if you're around the world, but if you can, have a look. If not, have a look on Cool Craft Book. Um, oh, yes, I'm very girly. I am very girly. Hello, oh. Rebecca. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just bring you up a touch. Um, and you've probably seen this, and if you have, I'm just going to do a very quick flip through. So this is the new Fairy Tales uh, Eerie book, and I did actually get this a couple of weeks ago, I completely forgot to show you. So I'll give you a quick flip now. Connie has a quick flip, but a longer in-depth one um, on her channel, so if you want to pop over and see that. But you know the usual style, so it's got lots of different fairy tales in them. If you want to have a, a longer look at the pages, pop on over to Connie's channel. She's got a full flip through, and she stays on the pages a bit longer than what I am, because I'm trying to get through this very quickly so we can move on to some colouring. Um, but it's lots of fairy tales, so like Goldilocks and Three Bears, or that might be something else, um, Hansel and Gretel. Um, I can't remember what that one's called. Is that the... Oh, God, no. <laughs> Some of them I don't know. Um, the Ice Princess, the Snow Princess, a bit like Elsa. Uh, you got the Mermaid. Some of them I can't remember. I'm so sorry. But if you want a full flip for as I said, Connie, our lovely Connie has got one. Uh, Pinocchio, Aladdin. Um, hold on. Uh, oh! Oh, oh, sorry, that was an overreaction, but I just realised it's one of my favourite pages. The Alice in Wonderland one with the tea party, um, the Queen of Hearts. Oh, just look, that's very Easterish. <laughs> Three little piggies. I don't know that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really rubbish. <laughs> I don't know them all. Wizard of Oz, reading with Parker Jen on her Instagram, has just done this one. And then this page is really cool because you've got North, East, West, South. And you've got like Bad, Cute, Wicked, Witch of the West, and then uh, The Good again. So you've got like Too Bad, Too Good. Um, just so cute, aren't they? And same usual style, her toothpick. Very Oriental one year. Um, under the sea one love this so it's coming up to the Chinese New Year can anyone help me out when that actually is I know it's coming up soon because I've seen all the bits in the shops for the Chinese New Year when I had to go shopping um, we are still locked down really stringently here and I mean stringent they've even put restrictions on full lockdown so you know it's quite tough hey Vicky um, 
we got the gender reveal next, what, Sunday? <laughs> I want to know what peanut is. I'm so impatient. I was going to ask you and I thought, no, I'm going to be good and I'm going to wait. Sorry, I was just drinking a bit of my coffee. Um, but yeah, you've got the zodiac, the Chinese zodiac. And then you've got this beautiful, which would have been perfect. If you've got Chinese New Year coming up, this one would be good for you. And then this one is really busy. Uh, so you've got a bit of everything in this one. You've got like Pinocchio. You've got Cinderella. You've got, um, I think that's supposed to be about, you've got Puss in Boots. You've got Tom Fum. You've got the Piggy. You've got everything. And then we've got the back. And then, of course, like all of them... Um, we have a couple of pages here with cutouts. I don't know if this is in all of them, though. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there is little cutouts that you can actually do. Look. So, if you look at the Pinocchio guy there, you can cut him out of the back. And you can gift them, actually. They're pretty cool as gifts or tags. So, that was that one. So, that is the new Eerie, which is a fairy tale one. And then you've got the new Mystic Art Mirrors. So, they are uh, two new ones, just in case you weren't aware that they were out or you wanted to see what they were like. That's those two. So, the Mystic Art Into the Woods and the new Eerie Fairy Tale. This one is on Etsy. This one's on Amazon Japan. Or you can actually go on Cool Craft Book or maybe Stationery Corner if you're in the UK. Not sure. I'm going to have to have a little hunt down for you after. And don't forget also, if you are looking for a new calendar, you can also get yourself the new Kelly O'Gorman one. There's a full flip through of this. I have done it in the on the channel. Oh, February 12th. Okay. Um, and this one is she does a calendar every year and just in case you wanted to have a um you know a quick look again you have a various amount of just different styles of illustrations and then that's it for show and tell part <laughs> and color with claire's got a full review she usually does the full reviews of them and that's beautiful as well. Um, so that is the Kelly O'Gorman calendar for 2021 as well. So lots of options for you. Okay, let's colour. <laughs> you know, even though I've had the, the stuff sitting there, you know, I've still not... Oops. I've still not actually worked the colours out. I'll Shannon quickly. So I was in Shannon's stream yesterday. And uh, we were doing Shannon's um, books. So this is a girl that I remember she didn't have as many as she does now. And the ones that you've got there highlighted are all your uncolored. So you haven't got too many. So I actually wrote them down. I'm going to put them in a document for you like I've got on mine. So they are all of <laughs> your books from yesterday. I'm <laughs> like my hand by the end and I thought, okay. I quite like making lists anyway. So that was yours. <laughs> Just full. Once I started, I was actually into the swing of it, but it made me not be able to chat. That was the only thing. It took me away from you guys in chat. <laughs> oh, sorry. But I was having too much fun making lists. <laughs> okay, now I'm with you. So let's get stuck in. Now, I usually start with a skin, but I'm not in the mood to do the skin today. I'm pretty much in the mood to work out the flower colour and the hair colour. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do mixed pencils, I think. Um, so, I'm looking at sort of two different types. Now, this is the Derwent Light Fast. And to be honest on this paper, this paper is very temperamental. They're not as suitable on this paper than other pencils. Um, so I think I'm going to do a mixture. And I know that might be a little bit... Uh, so do I, Suze. I love lists. I know it might be a little bit of a, a hindrance because if you're wanting to follow, follow along, you're just going to have to find the nearest tones. But with this paper... Um, it, it's always very temperamental just a heads up if you've not got this one it doesn't suit every brand of pencil that you have it's not your pencil's fault it's just it doesn't perform on certain papers very well and the light fast definitely are better on a toothy paper so with that being said um we're gonna go for a mixture some tones might be in some sets some tones might be on other sets 
so we're gonna have a little mix i know vicky you're the same we have to mix our media up huh and that's what it is okay so my my thoughts of this is i'll start with these down here and I'm going to use some polys and I'll tell you what I'm using and I'll put it in the description after the stream. Now, um, I'm still going through and doing my charts in my Ruby Charms. It's not complete at the moment, so I'm going to use my original book for the minute. Um, so, I'm just going to use my originals because I'm still building my chart book up. I'm doing alright on it though. I'm trying to transfer over my colour into my new Ruby Charms book. It's taking a little while. And my mum says hello, by the way. Uh, she obviously still can't be in. Okay, so I'm going to look at the greens for our... Um, these things right, right here. So we need earth green. And we need... Like these sort of... Earth green's a good one. I'm just having a look at my at my greens. Um, juniper green, maybe. Where's my earth green? I think I might actually have my earth green in my other tin. One minute. I'm going to mix them up. These tones are really quite like a... If you look at the flower, they're like a really light tone. Hi, Emily. Um, so they're kind of like, if I mix if I show you, I've got these pencils out. So they're like these, they've got like a grey in them. So I'm going to mix, I'm quite literally mixing my pencils. Quite literally, like, I'm one of those nightmare people today that's going to mix them up so bad that you're going to hate me by the end of the stream. <laughs> so the, the perfect greens and greys for this would be a Pablo. Um, in the light grey, just to tone down the, the green. The luminance in the middle, very, very degrees, 713, out of the portraits. <laughs> and earth green in the, um, the polys. So quite literally, I'm mixing all my pencils here. So when I then bring in a darker green, I'm going to look at chromium green opaque and possibly or maybe instead of the olive green yellowish they are definitely my greens for these right here so that's what we're going to start with so we're going to work our greens out for this bit here now if you've not seen them i, I won't put the thing up on the screen again what i'll do is um put the one i've got on my phone up for you so it's like they are really, really, can you see that? Is that going to show on your screens? So can you see some of them are really like grey greens and some of them are like a darker green. It depends on which one we're looking at. So some of them are in a different light, depending on how the light hits them, I suppose. Um, it's the same with these ones, look. They're like a, they don't remind me of aloe vera. I don't know, can you... You see what I mean? Like, and then on the end, you've got tiny little buds of like a, a caput mortem um, and a caput mortem violet. So we'll pick those out. So that'll be good. So we've already got some like idea of where we're heading with this. Otherwise, we're blind. All right, let's make sure you're, you're zoomed in. Okay. Is it a cactus? I'm not sure, Christine. Anyone that's come on in? Hello. Hi, the Eskies. Um, so we're going to head first, I think, to... Um, 713 in the Lumis, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a base down with colour. Now, my base is going to be um, really pale, and we're going to start off, we're just doing this, we're going to do two or three, so we'll do one, this one's going to be darker, this one's going to be lighter, and I think the light's going to hit the this end here more than that end. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to put the lightest in first. I'm quite literally just going to very lightly base so I know where I'm going to be lighter and darker. This bit will be lighter, I think. And I'm not going to rush this page because I love her work. And for me, um, the enjoyment is going my own pace. And if that means five parts, it means five parts. Just because if I've got to be happy with what it looks like at the end. 
Um, so this is going to be my very lightest colour and we can always come back in and um, layer up. A layer will probably be, <laughs> probably be, be about four layers just, just to like put it out there. And some of this will be a bit darker than others. Is it a succulent? Right, so they part of a succulent um, family because she does a lot of succulents in her drawings. They're very much as like a celadon green if you've got the uh, prismas and you don't have any other sets. So this is 713 in Lumi's. As I said, I'll write it down as I go along and then I can just list it for you. So we'll do we'll do mixed pencils on this one. Just because I have been saying for a long time now, haven't I, that I'm going to do a mixed pencil page. And um, you can just try and find the nearest colours in the sets that you've got. So it really is a very pale green, which is perfect for this. Um, so let me just write down what I'm using so I can literally just transfer it over into the comments after. Whoops. Right. So succulent leaves, we'll call it succulent leaves, even though they're not a leaf, but you know what I mean. Uh, so 713 Lumi. Okay. Now I'm going to come in a little bit darker. That's just got me my base going. So we're going to go for earth green and I think I'm going to pick up olive green yellowish. So we'll pick up olive green yellowish in the polys first and we'll start to put in where this dark's going to go. Um, I'm planning this as I go along. This, you know, it might not be the right tones, but we're definitely going to give it a go. But I hope you're all good, by the way. <laughs> I've been chatting. I always start off the streams chatting my head off and then uh, I actually get time to relax colour and, you know, talk properly to everyone. It's like I've got so much to fit in that first 10 minutes that I try and reel it all off very quickly before then we settle down, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I kind of try and do everything first and then relax with you we are on season three guys season three of prison break we have been prison breaking although andrew gets to this point now in any box set and he's like i've had enough now and i'm like uh excuse me mister you've got to see this through um chip's been attached to andrew like to the to the hip he won't leave him it's like it, I don't know, I can't explain it, but you know when dogs get very needy and they have their moments and their days where they just do not leave you alone? Uh, Chip is pretty much like that at the moment. He, uh, It's like he's got this overwhelming need to be loved, even though he's loved like no other dog that I've ever known. Um, <laughs> overly, overly fussed. Can you overly fuss them? I think so. Um... Oh, cat, I might not, <laughs> but we're just doing the, uh, what I thought is I'd leave the enjoyable bits to last, like my most enjoyable bits to last, and do the bit, I love every part of colouring, but my least enjoyable thing is leaves, um, I know it's for some it's the most, but for me it's always been my least, uh, so what I try and do at this point is try and get this bit done first and worked out and then I can work around that. It might inspire me as well to have the colours picked out for the rest of it, which I've kind of got an idea in my head, but I'd rather do this bit first and then it might inspire me for the rest. So we'll go with this back one first. Now I'm going to pick up the colour Earth Green. And I'm just going to fade out from that last colour that we've just done, which was the um, chromium green opaque, wasn't it? 174. Okay, we'll write that one down as well. And this is the earth. If you can hear snoring, that's Chip. He's beside the um, microphone. <laughs> this will be a very much a mixed media piece. I think the background will be gelatos. Uh, dry and I've got my stencil brushes now that was another thing I am actually going to film a haul and what I've showed you today will be on it um, but I'll put it all together in one big video because I've got quite a few things to stick in there that I've showed you over the last few weeks 
and it will be like a big collective haul including the brushes, the stencil brushes, the gelatos, the books, the PDFs, that kind of thing. Are you interested in that? I know it's a silly question, but do you want to see it all again, but all compiled? <laughs> well, would you? Would you? <laughs> oh, I know, Rebecca, me too. I did find that season three got a bit far-fetched, which is what we're on now. Um, but it kind of went with the whole storyline, if that makes sense. Like, it kind of fitted the agenda of it all. Season four dragged a little as well, didn't it? Five was... I was so, so, like, against number five, and I ended up enjoying it. I was thinking, no, it's done, he's dead, but he wasn't... <laughs> he wasn't... We kind of put that story to bed, hadn't we? Okay, so this is kind of going how I'm thinking in my brain. Um, so the ends, we can always put a little bit of chromium, uh, cap at mortem. So we're just um, fading this outwards. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, your gender reveal now. I'm, I'm curious. I want to know if I'm right. All right, let's 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 do this in the chat right now. So obviously, a lot of you are already aware of, of our Vicky. Um, and if you're new to colouring, colouring with Vicky has her own channel. She's in chat. Um, so she's pregnant with her first little peanut bambino. So that's why we call her Mama Bear. And we now have to guess, before Sunday, the gender of the baby. So cast your votes now in the chat. And on Sunday, we're going to see in the party which of us are correct. And I want to know if I'm correct. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, you <laughs> sh... Oh, my God. I can't believe us. <laughs> so are you... Team blue or team pink? I am team pink. And you watch me be wrong. <laughs> oh, we've got two boys. Is anyone with a girl with me? Come on. <laughs> I'm so itching to find out if I'm right. <laughs> How bad is that? Sorry, Vicky. <laughs> oh, no. I'm like being all competitive over baby peanut now. I'm like, what are we... <laughs> You're all calm on. Who's team pink? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to my lightest colour, 713. Um, there's a lot of team blues. Oh, come on, team pinks. Who's team pink? So this is 713 in the Lumis. So we're going to go to the edges. And we're going to add a tiny bit of grain to some of that because it'll only tone it down. <laughs> Oh, yay! Some of you are thinking, girl. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's so funny. I was sitting there and I was thinking, how can I be so competitive over a baby peanuts, like, gender? But I really want to know. <laughs> I'll be like this with my own first one, trust me. But I'm still not sure if I want to know, if I, you know, when we finally get to that stage. Um, I'm still not sure that I, I, I want to know, but then part of me does... But I've always said throughout my life, oh no, I wouldn't with my first, I want to know my first. But you kind of do. You kind of do. You're too curious into what that tiny little miracle's like inside you, what, what they are. Okay. So can you see, like it's going to start to sort of blend all together. Now, the blending on this paper is pretty difficult. So just have some perseverance with it. It might mean a couple of layers. And it might mean a couple of times that you've got to go over the same area, but it will pay off in the end. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I knew I wasn't the only one. Wilson! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Just, I've turned it into like a ball game. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, right, let's go for... Um, our cap at mortem and then we might just layer over that a little bit again 
So we've used 713 in the Lumis, 173 in the Poly. We've used 172 in the Polys. I will list this, don't worry, I'm writing it down. It's a baby! Yeah, Lou, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, when they said, well, what, what is, what's the sex? And he went, it's a baby. And he has to run back in and ask what his own child is. <laughs> that was so funny. And when they name him Damien. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Light grey in the Pablo. That's so sweet. Yeah, I think they do get excited. And he will cry, he will cry. You watch. He'll cry when you uh, have that little miracle. <laughs> I call baby miracles, by the way, because it's a blessing. Okay, so I'm putting a bit of grey into this because it dulls down that green. Um, and they are quite grey green, aren't they? So I'm just putting a touch in there. Then I'm just going to come in with a tiny bit more colour. Now, it might dull down the colour a touch, but it does put a little bit of green in for you. And then... Um, I'm going to pick up my uh, 172 again and I'm just going to layer in a tiny bit more of that. And as I said, it might take a tiny bit of perseverance if you want them to look a bit more realistic, but you know, you'll get there. Hiya, Angela! Oh, not me, it's Vicky, but yes, Vicky will be. She will be. Hold on, let me find my. Hiya, Della! Okay, let me move that. Oh, there it went. The pos the pos one second, guys. One second. I'm having a... My Posca's fell. Hold on. Bear with me. <laughs> well, actually, my Posca's and my Post-it notes fell. So, pretty much everything that I had just by me fell on the floor. <laughs> it usually happens. It usually happens. Nothing unusual there. Okay, so I've got my Poskas now. Okay, sorry about that. I'll just come up just a tiny little bit. Right, so what was I using? Earth green, wasn't I? We're back to earth green. We're just layering in a little bit more. And the key with this paper is don't press hard um, because it will just clump. Because it's so smooth, it's got no tooth, it will, stand, it will start skating on your page. Like, it literally will skate. It will skate along, glide along, and you'll get quite frustrated. I know with me, I've got frustrated in the past and just wanted to abandon it. So now I've kind of got aware of it all. I just have uh, no tooth paper to me. It's just like, all right, light hand, layer up. It should be okay in hindsight. But if you've got a light hand and you don't like layering, this, this is perfect. Don't worry about me babbling on. And because not everyone likes to layer up. Okay, then we're going to get ourselves... <laughs> Uh, I don't draw Kinsey, this is a colouring, adult colouring channel. Um, Caput Mortem and Caput Mortem Violet, and the things I do draw is, is not on the channel, it's in my own time and they're just like learning. And I'm going to also get myself a Posca. And the reason why is on the tip, very tips of them, they have these little white parts, which are the buds. So first off I'm going to pick up Caput Mortem Violet, which is the lighter out of the two. And just on the very end, so this is going to be the darkest, this one's going to be lighter. Um, so I'm just literally going to go to the tips. If you want an awesome channel to follow uh, that does everything, drawing, uh, colouring, mixed media art, go to Dee Dee Willingham. Um, if that's what, you know, you're into everything. Dee Dee is a live streamer and she does everything she's incredible and very encouraging and very interactive streams so definitely check out Dee Dee she is uh, you know one of the first first youtubers along with Jen that I started watching and got me really into just the whole live stream and chat and getting to know a community that I you know 
I hadn't previously known. Um, so I'm also going to go for the cap at Mortem, which is just a tiny bit darker, but just going to blend that outwards a little bit. So it's just literally on the ends. Uh, not on the channel, I haven't, no. I stream twice a week, and I try and get live real-time colour along on what I'm doing, plus a chat, just a hangout. Okay, and then on the very end is um, my Posca. <laughs> Thanks, Rebel. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to literally go on the very ends. Who are you screaming at? Sorry, I missed it. Okay. There are quite a few channels that do mandalas in it. So you can tell it's very minimal, but it's like how they look on there. Right, this one's going to be a bit lighter. Um, tiny bit lighter. Yeah, <laughs> big capital letters for me would be amazing so I can see what you're saying. And um, I don't, don't worry, I know you're not shouting at me. <laughs> okay, so that was cap at Morton and cap at Morton Violet. So that's 169 and 263. So we'll do the lighter side now. So that one's darker, this one's lighter, and then we'll do one of these flowers. So one, uh, 263 and 169 and 263. They are the um, capets. Okay, so lightest of this succulent part would be good now. So I'm not going to, I'm going to skip the colour that we used last time, which was olive, no, it wasn't, it was, yeah it was, no it wasn't. It was chromium green opaque. We're not going to use that one. We're going to now use um, earth green and we're going to use a number 713 in Lumi. So I'll tell them exactly as it is on all going along. I'm just trying to work out and the uh, light grey as well as the white. So they're going to be our tools for the next one. Um, so it just keeps chat nice and clean for everyone. So, it, uh, you know, oops. So people are comfortable in their environment. The mods are amazing, they handle things. If you've ever got any concerns, just let our lovely mods know. If I don't spot it, oh my God. Hold on, Pete, Pete, Pete. Alright, I'm sorted now. I'm trying to get everything out for you. And everything was like going everywhere. Hi, you wheeling rebel. Okay, so we're going to get our earth green. And remember, this, this side's going to be lighter than the last. So we're going to skip out darkest colour. This is our darkest colour. And on the very end, she's got like a tip for you this time, which is handy. Uh, so they can be your white or they can even be cap it. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to take out that black line on the edge as well. So this is going to be our lighter section, I think. And we're just going to... We're going to head with this. And see what we can do. These are the sort of perfect, really nice, um, cool greens. So they've got like grey hints in them. <laughs> I'm trying to sort out my equipment in the background and I'm like, no, <laughs> don't be failing on me now. Everything's falling or <laughs> I'm getting wires mixed up around my feet. That's what you could hear. Um, and I'm trying to clear my desk so I've got the space. <laughs> you know, some days you're so unorganised. Does anyone have really unorganised days? Take care, Emily. <laughs> I'll message you later. Hi, you Lisa. Okay, so really nice and uh, just cool, this one. And then we can work out where we're going from there, can't we? This is a nice thing about starting off with little sections. It gives you a little hint of what you want to colour next and also what the colours are. So I'm kind of thinking I really want her to be like an Elsa, really nice bright blonde. Uh, like a white blonde but then the other part of me thinks maybe put some browns in there as well so have like a bit of a mixed coloured hair or maybe a two-tone hair I'm th I'm thinking I'm still thinking so see how all already that one's cooler than the other one isn't it hey you Ruthie um so we're going to go for the 713 in the luminance now again and 
now I can be a bit more generous on my amount that I'm putting down. And this one, the white areas that you still see on it, they're going to be the coolest of grey green. So we're going to put a tiny bit of the Pablo light grey and then a bit more of this but lighter and then we're going to put our white Posca. So take out the edge line and it really will be like it's the lighter of them. Hi you Sherry! So we'll, then we'll look at our reference picture and see if we've got it roughly near the same. So then I'm going to pick up my uh, light grey Pablo which I think it has a number 003 and I'm going to put that on the end so any white space It just takes out the white, puts the cool grey. It's a really nice, very light grey, very lightning grey, this one. It's lovely. Oh, do you want to see also, um, not see, do you want to hear what happened earlier? So Andrew was sitting next to me and we were talking uh, about something he bought and um, I heard this loud almighty bang. Now, if you're in the UK, in London area, of any kind, did you hear that sonic boom? I had never heard one before, and this almighty crash came over the entire house. And it was literally all over the news in about five minutes from this. People were checking their houses, thinking their houses had been hit. And it had been, I think, like all of London, all of Essex, all the surrounding areas, and everyone had heard this sonic boom. Just it was so loud. Never heard one before. Um, but apparently we had like a, a jet or some kind over the thing, and it literally felt like the whole house moved. Okay, back to my Poly Earth Green One Seven Two. Um, have you ever heard a sonic boom in your life, guys? I'd never heard one. And I didn't even know what it meant. I know it sounds really ignorant, but apparently it's to do with moving faster than the speed of, what is it, Andrew? Sound. Mm. Yeah. Moving faster than the speed of sound and it creates this almighty sonic boom in the air. And it was, it honestly felt like something had completely hit the house. It was, I thought one of our tiles had come off again. <laughs> I was saying to Andrew, what was that? <laughs> I thought, oh no, if you've been here with me and you were there the day that my, my roof got hit by lightning, you, yeah, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> no way, Kenny, I've never heard one. I was thinking my roof had been struck again. <laughs> the whole house rattled, Sherry. Never heard one. I was like, oh. And then all over, like, all my neighbours... We're in like a, a WhatsApp group together and all my neighbours was because they're most of them are elderly. Uh, we're like, we were checking the house. We thought something had hit the house. And I was like, yes, I know. I was wondering what that was. Chip was barking. I was rattled. And Andrew was like, didn't hear it. I'm like, oh, what is wrong with you? You were sitting right beside me. You know, he didn't hear it. Can you believe that? I was like, does this virus attach your ears as well? <laughs> Oh, really, Chica? Chip just barks his head off, Becky. <laughs> Pablo's a wax. Oh, are they wax their oil, aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, he went, I didn't hear it. I was like, how are we sitting in the same house? Okay, back to my light grey. I was like, seriously, are we in the same house right now? Yeah, I don't know. and he was honestly, genuinely sitting like knee to knee with me, and uh, he didn't hear it. So I was like, "Oh dear." <laughs> it's made. It's made the main Sky News. It's made the entire neighbourhood watch group go potty, and he didn't hear it. I was like, "Dear Lord," he didn't even feel it. Oh, it's wax. Did not know that. I honestly thought they were oil. Thank you for telling me that. Okay, Posca. Now, I'm going to go to the ends. You know, I honestly, all this time thought they were oil. I've learnt something new today. Well, I've, le I've learnt two things today. I've learnt about Sonic Boom. And three things. And that Andrew's hearing's awful. And, uh, I need to get this one. 
my new one. I'm gonna just throw my old ones. These ones are perfect. Um, so I'm just taking out that side. Just gonna turn you a second. Just coming up just a touch. Ah, have you? Beautiful, aren't they? Um, so some of it is light, some of it's dark, isn't it? I'm just trying to take out very carefully that um, the side of it, so you know like the lights hitting that side and they genuinely just have that tiny little bit of um, bud and then the tiny tiny little bit of the cap at Morton. Okay so I think that's pretty much how they'll be. So what I'm going to say, this I'm going to do this little dark piece here because that's mostly going to be dark. The nearer the light they are, the lighter they are, the nearer to the dark they are, the darker they are. That makes total sense. <laughs> <laughs> and then right so Pablo I'll tell you what we've used um, is silver grey oh sorry light grey light grey ok so we've used just to let you know sorry about my writing 713 in the luminance 713 uh, 173 in the polys 172 in the polys 169 and 263 are the caplets and the Pablo is the light grey Hi, you Kirsty. Okay, so this one here, this teeny little one. So if we look at our reference picture again, um, that. So we've got our reference pictures, right? Uh, let's go to this one here. So our reference pictures have the darkest, literally beside the flower, um, which makes total sense, and the lighter ones are more like the ones with the tiny bits of caputs on them and can you see it's like a white grey it's that like green grey they don't have like um they're not white they're like a a slight grey tone to them so we're looking at our reference against the actual thing i think that's pretty close as much as i'm going to get um so this part here is going to be the darkest so we're going to go back to what we used originally which is 173 in the polys um, so we'll bring you down a little bit. Can you see okay in your screens? And this is going to be the darkest, so very, very light, very light application at the moment. Um, so it's going to be like here. Um, so I really am going like, you can go to the edge of the pencil and just very sketchy style add that in. Like you, you can sketch style, it just means like your rough outline of where that's going to go. So that's going to be your darkest, so it's going to be the tiniest amount at the moment just to build up where darks are going to be. I can't wait to start my, tomorrow I've set myself a goal um, to have some hobby time. Oh, do you want to hear what I did? Oh, you're so funny, Angela. You, was you here when I showed at the beginning two new books? Did you see the new Mystic Art one? <laughs> My devil horns are on. Our streamers, are, oh, we've got these shiny haloed devil horns. See, both devil horns have a halo. <laughs> they're so, they're super shiny. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just putting in a really, really light amount and I'm quite happy with the amount that I've put down so far. Then I'm going to go to my earth green. <laughs> yeah, then giggles. <laughs> earth green uh, at 172 polys. Oh, you're going to have to quickly skip to the beginning, Angela. Skip to the beginning after the stream and, and check it out, see if you like it because, you know might have your name on it okay it might just have your name on it honey and that's going to go in the majority so the luminance is not going to have much i'll try and find now jade the jade greens the celadon greens the um sap green gray green light those types if you have got the prismas use those colors and Cool grey 10. 
I would say substitute what I've used with those tones. So just look at your colours, look at your colour chart. If you've not made a colour chart and you're just going off the top of your head, just look at your colour pencils and have a look at your grey types of greens, your very soft, muted greens. They're very muted. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I told you, the horns have halos. <laughs> Okay, and before we start building up on that, I'm then going to pick up my 713, which is in my luminance, and I'm going to go to the edge of all my little white bits. Then we're going to do this lovely flower up here, which is going to be fun. Again, that's going to be mixed, I think, mixed pencils. We're going to have a look at the tones, because different sets have different tones, what I'm looking for. Right, so let's build on that now that we've got a lay down. So let's go back to our... Um, Hmm. Should we do 713 or 714? We'll do 713. So we'll do 713 polys and let's build up on that a bit. So we've already got it down. Um, so now I'm going to just smush that in a bit more. It's a very small, very small little motions. And if you're finding that control, because it's so so many of us have different hands of like pressure uh, some people are very light some people are very heavy handed um this is really quite light but just little small motions over the same area just to build it up <laughs> okay so just teeny weeny little if you're someone who likes to speed colour, like not spend your time doing all these little nooks and crannies of things, then totally get it. As I said, you're not you're colouring for your own enjoyment. Just remember, you're not colouring for me. You're not colouring for anyone else. You're colouring for your own enjoyment. It's if it this sort of thing does not appeal to you, where you take your time, then don't do it. There's no pressure on yourself. There's no one sitting in your house with you colouring. I was saying this to mum earlier. There is no one sitting in your house with you telling you how to do it. There are obviously tutorials and stuff out there telling you how to do things if you want to do them. Not literally. So just, it's got to be enjoyable. Um, so I'm going to go for Earth Green, which is 172 in the polys. And we're going to bring in a little bit more of the cap in this one, actually. I think that would be quite good on this one. And we might even, just a very quick shadow on the underneath with a grey. Um, so it's just minimal. And I'm going to pick up, um, I'm going to pick up my cap at Morton Violet. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you look as much as you want. Uh, Cap at Morton Violet, which is what, uh, 263, 263 in the polys. And that's just going to go on the end. Just very small. I'm using a reference picture um, for these little succulents. I've missed a tiny little one there. Let me put that in now. They have like the buds on the ends, like just m so small. Nicole, what do you mean? There's quite, what exactly did you want to review on? Because I don't, I'm more of a live streaming channel. I'm happy to do reviews, um, but you've got to be specific on, on what diamond painting. I've done unboxings, 713, uh, but there are so many diamond painting channels on the internet like that are just for diamond paintings. So you've got to be a bit specific on that one. Just just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pick up in the polys um, dark sepia in 175 and I'm just going to go on the underneath of this little flower. just so I can accommodate if I can, but I need just a little bit more specific. Okay. 
Okay, so can you see it's just made a little bit of a difference. So when you come up and you have it a, a, a bit more of a bird's eye view, which is always a good thing to do when you're colouring. Um, I'm just going to make sure that that has a bit of a shadow. And I'll do that on the hair, but you can, you know, plot it in now. And I've just got to remember where the shadow is. So if I've got light coming this way, it will be that side and that side. So just very small amount, see, on each bit, so you know where the shadows are going to be. Oh, I know, me too, Cat. The greens in the portrait set is gorgeous. They've got multi-purpose. 713 is one of my favourites. So cool. Such a nice, minty, cool green. Like, oh, just beautiful. I use that on my dog's eyes. Okay, so that is kind of how they be. So the little, you see on this side, you've got the little mini ones. They'll be the same. They'll be the darker. And you've got to remember where the light source is coming from. So the light will hit this side. The darker side will be here. The darker side's going to be there. Same with anything that hits on an underneath area the bigger they are and you've also got some blooms here which is going to be fun uh, so we'll do we'll do this flower up here and we'll do the blooms of those two down there so that's how those succulents will be so they're very very um very well i don't think they're too complicated they're very replicant of the colors i think take care Sus. so now we've got to work out the colors for this now they are generally like a cap at mortem in the middle. Um, I'm just going to turn my lighting off a sec. Well, not off, but down. Um, so, right, you can tell the true colour now. So, they've got this bright, vivid, bold, purplish cap at. They've got like dark purples, cap in them. Um, and then they have like this really nice buttercup type of yellow, which is also in the champagne light fast has got that kind of color um, and if you go to another reference photo um, this one's a bit more yellowish and let a little less vivid which is a little bit more like this one to me but they're still the same colors and again your cap at mortem and your cap at mortem violet it's probably going to play a big role in that so i think we're going to use this one as a reference cream ivory that type of yellow um, and nothing too bright and it's really quite a mixture of the um of the caput's there i think that will be probably our best bet okay so first off i think the most sensible thing for us to do is base it with the lightest tones also in the loomies let's have a look at our charts because it's always good to have a quick look um so look at the luminance chart a second I'm being like quite a stickler here for sticking to a colour. Holbein's will be good in this as well. They've got some lovely type. Oh, if you've got Holbein's, by the way, and you're looking for those nice cool greys, the Celadon, Surf, Mint, Misty, Opal, Willows, they're good choices just to give you a heads up if you've got the Holbein's. And Holbein's don't actually work too bad on that paper. Uh, they're all right. They're not... They're better than some, and you can actually layer up on them, so they're a good option. Um, okay, so let's look at our Lumis. I can't wait till I've actually transferred these over, like all of them. Okay, crammed actually luminous. So in the Lumi set, we're looking at... This will be a good one to add in there, the Burnt Sienna, this one here. Um, that's a really nice colour. That can go in there, so we might pick the burnt sienna up. And also, if you wanted to put any of the red tone, uh, the crimson, I always call crimson alley, alizar in hue. Um, these tones are also. Now, we're looking at primrose, I think. What would you say for that really nice? Um, the name, I'm just going to put it in your screen then, if you need the name of it and you want to write it down. It's just bear with it, it will come in your screen in a second. Um, Naples, Ochre and Primrose are probably going to be our best bets. And we've got Cap at Mortem and yeah, we've got a nice few tones. That is the name of this plant. If you want to look it up, Stipila or Bia Variegata, I think it's called. Um, but that's the name of it. 
Okay, so we'll just take that off your screen. Um, so yeah, we've got Primrose and Naples Ochre. See, the Naples Ochre will be the darkest out. Can you see that one? That'll be the darkest out of the two. And then um, the Primrose is this one down here. So they're not they're nice and, and subtle. So we're going to grab those. And then obviously we've got our Caput Mortem, Caput Mortem Violet. And we're going to pick up some Red Violet and Dark Red, I think. And if we need any other tone, maybe the Indian Red. But I've picked these up. We might not use them all, but they're really nice red tones. They're the ones that we're heading for. So like dark red, red violet, Caput Morton violet, Indian red and Caput Morton. We don't need anything beyond those. They usually stink, do they? <laughs> Some of the prettiest stuff do. What's going on? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to mute you for a second while I gulp some of my coffee. Okay, let's get our um, our loomies now. So we need Primrose and our Naples Ochre. Uh, so I'm just finding them. Hold on, let's find them. Even the brown, no, the brown ochre is not the right one. Okay, so I found them, I think. Is that Naples Ochre? That's Primrose. And that's Naples Ochre. That's the two that we need. What would be a really nice colour, as I said, is the crimson or even the crimson aubergine. No, we were right with the polys. We're not going to go to that. We, we've got enough. We've got enough colours. We don't need to mix too much. And if we need any other colours, then we will. Right, I'm just going to quickly... Excuse the sharpener. So they're the two um, yellow tones. If I need anything darker, then I'll head maybe to a Prisma um, and maybe the beige or eggshell. Oh, they could maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm all right. I promise it's not a sickness. <laughs> oh gosh, there you go, I've added two in. Something's all right now, Shannon. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go for, let me just look at that on a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, and then I added two in. <laughs> okay. That one is the uh, primrose, that's our lightest. Can you see how nice and light that is? Um, so that's the right tone. Then the, oh, okay, so that's perfect to put beside that. This one, no, too dark, we don't need that one. That's eggshell, that is just way too dark. That's too dark, okay, so they're a no-no. They're a no-no. What did that one look like? No, they're enough. We don't need anything else. Otherwise, it is going to end up looking too dark. If I do need to add something in, maybe cream. Let me just look at cream. Hold on. Oh no, what's going on? But that's very similar, isn't it? Oh, okay. Cream might be, but we don't. They're too dark. Um, okay, so I've got two Lumis and one Prisma. Um, so the Luminance Primrose is 242, the um, Prismacolor is Cream 914, and the other Lumi is 821. And as I said, if you wait till after the stream, I'll section it into what we've used and what colours we've used. And you can just look at the colour charts and put it into your um, pencil sets. Okay. So it is definitely a mixed pencil piece today, which I'm so happy about. I love mixing my pencils. This is like my heaven. Uh, 242 Lumi, 914 Prismacolor, and 821 Loom. Okay. All right. Are we ready? So we're going to go straight down first and do the darkest 
um, is Naples Ochre 821. I know, do you know how hard that was when I first got them? But I buy the singles when I... Right, you'll laugh at me. When they get to about here is when I buy singles because I'm, like, scared that they'll be dying on me anytime soon. So I'll get the single to that one. I know how you feel. <laughs> they are hard to sharpen because they're so precious. Okay, so this is, as I said, 821 Naples Ochre. To be honest, I, I think all the... the colours we use are pretty I just love colour pencils and, and anything I love I love anything art and uh, to me they're like gold all of them but when I first ever bought these I never forget so do you remember that feeling when you first got into the hobby and you had your really budget brand pencil so I had the Faber Castell student brand and they were like 14 pounds for a pack an entire pack do you remember that and you know that feeling when you really get into a hobby and you want to treat yourself to something a bit more higher grade so I went on to Colt Pens. You've all got this feeling in you, all of you. Yes, the Black Widows. Didn't think of that, Mandy. Thank you. I might on head on over to them for some hair colours after. Um, so I was looking on Colt Pens because they've been told, you know, this is God, five and a bit years ago. And you know that first feeling when you're shopping for some new pencils and you don't quite know where to start? And you're like, oh, but what colours do I get? Um, and then I sat there and I sort of said to myself, right, get some skin tones in some polys and get some nice neutral tones in skin tones also in your Lumis. So, oh, God, it was like a minefield at that point because, you, you know, you're, you're shopping for the first time for some singles. So I ended up with my first delivery of polys and I've still got the picture to this day, still got the picture to this day of the picture I took when they came in five and a bit years ago and I just was over the moon couldn't believe I'd got these pencils and I bought myself like three Lumis and about eight polychromos and I didn't want to touch them I did not want to touch them I was so happy they were like gold and um, I wore them down to the to the stump before I actually sharpened them does anyone remember that when they did that and you just thought how on earth am I ever going to be able to use these because I have to sharpen them and they're so precious and oh my gosh and then you start buying some more singles and you add into them and then you know when you start putting them into the to the pencil cases and you're seeing them and then when you've got them lined together in the pencil case and they start being like a little bit mismatched and you've got one up here and one down there but you want them all perfectly arranged in your pencil case yeah that was exactly how it was. <laughs> okay, this is Primrose 242. So we've used the um, Naples Oak. And now we're going to use this one. And we're literally going to go all over with a very, very light amount. It's quite literally just like cover it now. Because you've got your, your heavier application of that. So now you're just going to blend out. Oh, don't you just remember those days like they were just yesterday and you remember the excitement you got and you didn't know where to start and now you don't know where to go because you've got too much. <laughs> no, Heather, <laughs> Wilson, you still got them in the box. They need you. <laughs> they are there to be used. And you know, my mum will tell you, my mum used to say to me, just jump in for crying out loud, Sam, why are you not touching it? And I used to say, but I can't use them, they're too nice. And my mum used to say to me, well, what's the point in having them if you don't use them? And uh, it took me a long time to realise that actually, all I have to do is buy some singles to uh, replace the ones that I use. So <laughs> then I dived in. Okay, so before we're putting any of the caplets down, I'm going to pick up my Naples Ochre 821. And I'm going to put in a little bit of a heavier hand just around these bits but do you remember those days guys oh my god when you first bought stuff and you just didn't know what to do with yourself <laughs> then you buy a new set that is right hi you eyes selena that is exactly right connie and then you add and then you add and then you don't know what you <laughs> don't know where to go <laughs> and now the problem isn't about using things because i use everything um you know it takes me a little while to learn them but that's that's the fun. I don't mind taking my time. Um, but you know when you have 
so much choice it then becomes overwhelming it and you have those days where you just don't know where to go yeah I have them <laughs> I'm not even gonna say I don't and if you know people say but you've got too much and I'll say but it's enjoyment you know I, I don't um this is my main hobby this is what I do <laughs> hi you see <laughs> oh my god Wilson Primrose 242 well I'm glad they got some love now we're all bad. We're all guilty of having that set that we don't touch often. I was like that with the whole vines at first. So scared. But now you can buy them in singles. It's not too, you know, I'm not worried. All right. So before we do anything else, I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough of this color on and enough of the darker, which is the Naples Ochre. So we're just going to very quickly go around the edge. This is Naples Ochre. Don't forget, it's so light. If I show you the colour of what I'm going for... <laughs> Connie, I know. Well, we don't think so, but other people do. Okay, so this is the underneath colour that we're trying to head towards. Sorry, bear with me. Um, so, can you see how very light it is? And we've got to come with all the cap at Mortons, but it really is the case of... Um, those yellows that I'm trying to replicate is very faint, but they are there, so we've got to do all the other stuff on top. <laughs> yeah, what's what's that? What does that term mean? <laughs> oh, and, and talking of Anastasia very quickly, she has a new book coming out. Uh, very, I think in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out. Um, she's. I think the girls that she has, like a team of colorists, they are coloring currently an image from it to promote the book. Um, so it should be in the next two weeks, which is uh, really, really nice. We like that, don't we? We like a little bit of a, a new one, <laughs> even though we've just. I'm just picking this up for the first time. Okay, so still Naples ochre. Okay, right. Let's pick up our, that's a screen that, cream. And I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of the cream by that Naples ochre, just a bit. Now we need to get our pinks and reds. So I think I'm going to pick up Indian red first in the polys. Oh, I know. Shh, shh, uh, what's your name so I can remember? <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to be calling you shush. Um, so Indian red and this the reason why I chose this one first because it's the lightest and I'm going to start dipping in very lightly has it gone out of focus guys are you in focus yeah I think you are um, I'm just going to dip in here and there the uh, color before we go darker so I'm going to start off light so I know what I'm doing <clears throat> As I say to Andrew, I don't need another book, but I want one. So when these are artists that we love, you're supporting them as well. But when they come out with a new book, it's not a case of just, you don't need, because we don't need it, we want it. Oh, um, yeah, Anastasia has a new book coming out. Uh, Melody in the next couple of weeks um, so her colorist team she has a team of girls that usually color in for her and I think there's like seven or eight of them and they're currently current color currently coloring that's a mouthful um, Christina okay thank you Christina I don't want to call you shush because I sound like I'm shushing you <laughs> um, they're currently doing that, so it usually follows two weeks later. They usually have two weeks to colour her image, from what I've seen. Alright, so I'm just literally dotting in um, all over. Some of it has this coming round. But I'm going for my lightest tone first, because um, this is going to be one of those labour of loves, I can tell. But I always do with her pages. Is there certain books that you take your time with and other books that you like to just uh, 
not rush, but not take as long with. Her books I take so long. Okay, so we're doing nice big ones on this side. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a sad thing. Um, So, yeah, there's so many lockdowns, haven't we? I think worldwide we've got them. So just have a little bit of patience. Um, also in the UK, if you're from the UK like me, we have the whole Brexit situation, which is not helping us. Um, so we might not be able to order just of yet, but that's okay. Take, you know, bear in mind, things do change all the time. So what might not happen this month might happen next. It's, that's why as well, this book that I'm colouring in today, I bought on Cool Craft. Uh, you can't buy this one on Cool Craft at the moment. However, I've put the link to Anastasia's um, Etsy, not Etsy, Instagram. I've put the link to her Instagram and you can order it directly through her, but she'll tell you whether she can ship to you or not. So inquire on there whether or not you can ship um, and if your country is able to be shipped to and then you can go from there. So like this, the one that Connie shows, the Petra one, um, if you're in the UK and you want to order this, you, you yeah, we can't. Um, so let me show you. I've messaged her. Um, Petra, so it's colouring Peter, colourful Peter. So she has a new book, but Connie does the most amazing pages in this book here. And if you're in the UK, you can't currently order that one. Um, so I've been instructed to message her back at the end of the month. But if you look through her Instagram, it's just oh, it's stunning. Uh, she's got a new one out, this one. And this is going to be available to those of us in the UK maybe at the end of the month because a lot of the courier companies are not shipping. So I'll contact her again and let you know um, if you're interested in that book. And um, then you'll be able to order it. But at the moment, if you're UK peeps like me, we, we can't, we can't, we just can't. But that's okay, we've got a million other you know, things to be getting on with. And I cannot wait to start my body colour with you all. I'm so excited to do that one. Okay, so we've started the colour on that. That's pretty much how the pattern of this one's going to be. Oh, four months. That's a long old time. I know, it's a, really, it's a really strange world right now. Some people are getting shipments really quick and other people are waiting months. Um, I think it just all depends, doesn't it, where you are and where it's coming from and how many loops it's got to go through to get to you, etc, etc. Right, so next up I think we're going to pick up um, a bit more of a ready tone before we go darker. So I'm going to put in my dark red 225. Uh, this is still the polys. So this is going to be the lightest top, top part. And we're also going to put in red violet as well. So just putting in um, some extra red. The dark red's a really nice colour for this. There we go. So just around there. They are stunning books, aren't they? You got yours, Wilson. Oh, nice. Oh, Connie, no. They are, they're beautiful books. Yep, so that was another, you know, I told you all, I was lying to you. Because I said I didn't have any goals and I clearly didn't realise that I didn't have any goals. So, my brain didn't kick in. I do have a goal and that is to tackle my Colouring Heaven stash of uncoloured Colouring Heaven magazine. So, it's kind of a goal, isn't it? You can call it a goal. I don't really have massive ones. Like, I was thinking you were asking me and I'm like... Do I really have any goals? And then I thought, well, I've already talked myself into doing those magazines, so you can kind of call that a goal. So there's me telling you all I haven't got one, and I did. So if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, uh, how many of you subscribe to Colouring Heaven? And if you do, do you have uncoloured issues that you just haven't got round to? 
Okay, so that's the darker of the reds because we'll fade that out. Now I'm going to pick up a uh, cap at Morton Violet, uh, which is 263, and now we can start to darken this up a bit. So we're just going to go bit by bit and we'll fade this out. And the, re the, the way that we're going to fade that out is by uh, getting the Naples ochre again. So we can be a bit harsher with our lay down now. Because don't forget, these are quite bold. They're not. They're not at all um, soft. They're very bold. <laughs> there you go. So a lot of us can do the coloring heaven stash attack, and I thought that was quite because attack our stashes was just coming to my mind. Uh, the coloring heaven stash attack. You've got all year. Um, so I can say that that's kind of a goal, can't I? Instead of saying that I haven't got one, I have to do more of my own and um, to uh, do the colouring heaven stash ok so I've got to be a little bit bolder with my lay down here I'm going to press down a little bit harder and I'm also going to do them on here as well so these are all going to be the same but we're going to do this one and we're going to come down and do the, um, the bud we're going to look at the bud of one of them and then we're going to work out a hair colour. Yeah, well, I'm going to be doing another one of those in April, Shannon. For absolute sure. <laughs> I might make them an annual thing. Um, because they're fun. I mean, not so much. I don't do them for me. I do them for everyone else. Because it gives us something to work on. And we don't know what kind of year ahead we've got. And at the moment, we look like we're back into in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> So, <laughs> we might as well have some company with a, with a challenge. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be doing another one of those. Alright, so I've got to be quite um, generous. And I'll, I'll sort of very, very uh, subtly uh, fade the edge out a little bit into those. But they really are a bold colour. I'm just looking at it. It's not... It's not subtle at all. They are just like a really bold colour. And I'll show you in a minute. So this part can actually be a little bit darker as well. So it comes to this side and it can come up a touch. The same there as well. There we go. And um, what I'm going to do is pick up my uh, Naples Ochre 821 and you know where I've got that edge? I'm just going to fade that edge out a bit into that, make it a bit creamy and the same with there. So you, it's back to what we used before I be a bit bold again. <laughs> I'm just going to cream that edge a little bit, so just like that. And we can also, as well, take out that um, black line if we need to. But I thought that might be a good idea to just kind of tackle that before we go down a little bit heavier again. Okay, now we can go heavy. Okay, so back to my cap at Morton Violet. Thank you. Oh, okay, night, night, Melody. Sweet dreams. Okay, so we're just... Uh, the edges there I need to be a bit harsher. They are really quite bold with this caput sort of colour. I'm just so I'm just referring a little bit to a reference picture at each time. So if I go quiet, it's just because I'm looking at that and then I'm trying to put in the amount of colour that it seems to have. And it has it down here. Oops, did you see? Look, it even flew back. Oh, I'm having to press down quite hard, actually. The reason why is because um, the paper isn't taking the two... It's not toothy. <laughs> did you see that? It even had the cheek to bounce back and say, ha, ha, ha. Never mind. <laughs> it's like it laughed at me and then came bouncing back at me. There you go. That's even a... Uh, that was a bit cheeky of it. All right, so that's quite... Oh, come up. So that's quite replicant of what it's kind of looking like. It needs the red violet a bit. Uh, 
Um, so let's just look at our reference picture again. So they are quite bold and some of them are bigger. So let's go to the smaller ones, um, like these ones here. So some of them are quite red, some of them not so much. So I'm going to pick up, yeah, I think we'll pick up that one. Um, do I want to pick up Caput Morton? Yeah, we did Caput Morton Violet. Let's go for Caput Morton. So we're just looking at it on a, you know, a bit of a bird's eye view, and then we'll go to the bud. Caput Morton is uh, not as red. It's a little bit more of a sort of a terracotta-ish type. I'm just going to um, just fade a bit of that into there as well. So cap at Morton Violet, cap at Morton, and we've had some dark red. We started with the Indian red because it plotted it in for us. And this one I don't have to be as bold with. And then it has all these little, just need to sharpen that. <laughs> yeah, the pencil was having a laugh on me that time. I'm just bouncing back on my page as if to... You know Nelson out of Simpsons, where he does, ha ha, that's what that felt like. Alright, so I'm just uh, putting in little tiny dots over all of that little middle bit. Now I'm going to take out that edge because I don't want a black edge, it doesn't have one, it doesn't need one. I've got to be very careful with that, but it has like little dots all over that. Alright, so I'm going to bring in uh, the red violet now at 194 and just gently this is the last of the colours and it kind of just finishes it off with that that purplish tone that some of them have and it's just going to go all in that bit as well and then also here so you can just be a bit, you know, if this is your your version of, um, let's go this way, and then you can get the primrose in between if you need to, but I think it's actually the right tone of yellow underneath, I don't think it needs to be any bolder, let's go on the edge of that, same with this part, okay, and then with my white I just want to check something out, um, what pencil sharpener am I using? I'm using the Swordfish, it's like the crank one. Um, however, if you've got the museums, they will not fit. So I would use a M&R double sharpener, you know, the double barrel one. Okay, I'm just going to get my white pots for a second. And I'm just very, very carefully going to take that black line out. So I have to turn my page, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to go over the whole thing because it will look obvious, but I'm just going to go around the whiter edge and just see if that will make a difference. I'll just take out the black edge so it just has that, uh, you know, that nice flow of the colours. And then if that dries, you can actually put like a bit of the red if you want the red or... You can put the, the yellow or whatever it might be, but yeah, I think we'll do it with that. Okay, so if we come up, second, whoops, so that's kind of the colour scheme. You can be, he look, so some of them, if I bring this up, some of them have like a lot of shading. Can you see that? And you can do a little bit heavier of that uh, red tone. And this one is very puckered. Look how puckered that is with colour. So that one can be pretty heavy influenced, as will that one be. And this one's, this, these two are very similar, so that one will be very re replicant. Hi, you cat and paste. And this one is a bit puckered as well. So that will have a lot more of that, um, that tone in it. But that looks pretty, pretty okay, I think. Looks like the, the reference picture anyway. All right, so let's look at the buds. Let's have a look at the buds. Um... Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. Okay, let's look at this Orbelia. What, 
what is the name of this? I have it. Sorry, I need to look again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it is called Stapelia or Bia. Stapelia. Stapelia or Bia. Bud. We need a bud. So, what does the bud look like? A uh, flowering bud. Oh, so they're pretty white. Okay, so they're like. Can you sit right? I'm going to turn the. Sorry about the lighting again. So they have like greens in them and it's got like a white primrose and then the very tip of it has a very faint caput. So it's more like the um, colour of the stems, like these bits. Uh, so that's what that looks like. It's definitely, look, can you see? So if I, if I go in, it's like a, it's like that green white so I think we'll do that okay all right lighting's going back up we'll do it gradually there we go all right so we're going to come down to uh these two buds here have we got any others we've got them down there they're not our main ones aren't they okay that's fine we'll come down here all right so if we look at the buds, we're going to put in some of the greens first. So you know the greens that we used earlier, we're going to stick with the same. But we're going to just leave out the darkest, we don't need the darkest. So we're going to use, um, there we go, okay. So we're going to use 713 in the uh, Lumi and Earth Green Poly in 1712, 172. A light grey, I'll put, again, don't worry, I'll, I will word these properly in my description. I've got Naples, Ochre and Primrose there and we also need Buff Titanium. Which is probably what I want most. And any white, any white that you've got will do. Um, hold on. They are so beautiful, aren't they? Okay, we need Buff. Can't do something on a stream without a buff titanium and we've got the perfect opportunity we can take out that one and just use primrose i think okay so i'll recap <laughs> um light gray pablo 713 in the lumi 242 in a lumi 172 in the poly and our buff titanium is what we're going to use for that. If we need a white, I'm just going to pick any white. I've got the nearest one actually next to me was the museum white that I bought a spare of because I use them on Bonnie's work. Okay, um, so we're going to put some greens in first. And I'll go with my lightest of the greens, which is the 713 in the Lumi. And we're going to head to these two little guys here. And I'm just going to put in... I'm sketchy with the where I'm putting my green. And I'm going to do that on both. And obviously I'll have to do these succulents and stuff in my own time. Instead of, uh, you know, doing a whole stream of succulents. They'll be the same. They'll be all the same, don't worry. How we did the top one, we're going to do them. I'll do them all for you. Um, okay. So the base of this here is the green. Okay, so all over. That sound okay? So remember on Saturday, I haven't had many votes onto uh, the water media because I'll make a list and then I'll choose. Um, so if you give me a list, if you want to, of any water media, um, I will choose one pencil set out of them, but other water media, like different watercolour sets, etc. Um, then please do on my last stream, so on Saturday's stream. Or I can make a... No, 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 no. Scrap that. Scrap what I just said. I'll make a community post up and you can vote on there. Um, scrap what I just said. I'll make one up and vote on a community post. And I'll do a poll and you can add your options in, alright? I think that's what we'll do. You can always add your options in the comments. Does that sound better? <laughs>
All right, so I'm just looking at my color options. Uh, right, Primrose. Primrose is um, 242, and I'm gonna add a bit of that coming out off the greens. And it is on the stems as well, so this goes over the whole thing. There we go, so the middle, just before I do anything else, has buff. So I'm going to put buff titanium just all in the middle bit there. Do they look like, do they look like the picture I just showed you in terms of where the colour layout is going to be? I think that's about right, isn't it? Right. Let's pick our earth green. Let me just have another sip of my coffee. My cold coffee, but I don't mind cold coffee. I hate cold tea. Cold coffee is nice though. I love in the summer a nice cold latte. We have to put a mask on her. <laughs> well, she needs one whose sense of smell has gone, maybe. Cat. <laughs> okay, um, Earth Green 172. Let's put where our darkest is going to be. And don't forget the very tip's going to have a very subtle hint of um, the capper. And I mean super subtle, or as I usually say, super duper subtle. Okay, so it's going to have the harder amount, I think. Are you all okay? You're still with me? You're still entertained enough on the colours? Because it's been repetitive of obviously, but it has to be on this bit because uh, we have to get these right and then we'll move on um, to working out our hair colour what we'll go with this I think a really nice blonde or we could do brown into blonde or blonde into brown like the ombre hair that we've done before oh you remember we did the Pablo hair do you remember that hold on do you remember this do you remember this you'll remember this you you're you have all got better memories than me anyway which is a fact do you remember we did this which was the ombre hair um, with uh, Pablo pencils and we did the brown into like a, a caramel blonde. I mean that would go as well but this, that was like an ash blonde but I think that would go as well. Do you remember that? Um, oh sorry, <laughs> I'm just bashing you. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> I'll just bash you, you know, you don't mind. Grey would not go, it wouldn't go. Um, you've got the hazelnut brown, which is that one. Or we've got the um, the other blonde, like a dirtier blonde. It's that golden blonde. Um, but I think, I don't know, I kind of, my, my heart is saying uh, the ombre, this one. But I, I don't know yet. Maybe. What do you think? Because think about it. I'm just going to zoom you out. So sorry. Going for a ride again. She's got this really long plait that would actually be quite easy to do in an ombre. If anything is going to be good to do in an ombre, it would be this really long plait here. Um, or I could do it in blonde. But I really like the ombre look. I think that would look pretty cool. Do you remember we did that? Oh, God, how long ago did we do those? We did those ages ago. And look, I've got them written down. Do you, wanna, do, you want, do you want the combination in advance? So you can take a screenshot of that now. So you've got brown, this is Pablo's, uh, brown ochre, chestnut, umber, black ochre, burnt sienna, light ochre, bista, cream and cinnamon. But we did that going downwards, didn't we? Lou Winchester! I think we'll do that and we'll use the Pablos, which will be perfect because the Pablos are working really well on this paper. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, perfect. Oh, you're all voting on ombre. Okay, we'll do that. So Winchester just ordered the same jumper as me because she's another Winchester freak. <laughs> I persuaded, I sent um, Lou, so colour and Lou, I lovely colour and Lou. I sent her the link to the jumper because I knew she'd like it. <laughs> so <laughs> I was happily happily enabling with nothing to do with colouring earlier. 
Um, did I do that in order? I'm not sure. I'll have to look back on my video, which I will do. You got a purple one. I'm going to buy myself a purple one as well. <laughs> um, I'll list them like one, two. Before the next session on this girl, I think we'll list off. I'll list them in order for, for us. It'll help me out as well. Uh, when did I do that? It's in a playlist. If you go on my playlists and you've got the hair playlist, you'll find it. Um, it's there. You don't have to hunt. It's in it's in the playlist for you. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my light grey. So we've used... Um, we've used... Yeah, we've used the other colour. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think where I was then. Um light grey in the pablo and i'm just going to put that towards the top yeah it's there the purple one's lovely isn't it i know benita i'm terrible but i do it when i know it's something that people will love and i'm like you have to feel the same amount of joy as i did when it came through the post here you go <laughs> it's in the name of love i promise I told you my devil horns have got halos, so it's all, it's all good. Okay, so I'm just going in with this um, grey, which just takes that tone down a little bit um, because it is like a grey green. Okay, then let's pick up our primrose again in 242, and we just got to add a good amount there. Same down this side. Now I've got to be a bit generous on the amount, so I might actually bring in my Naples um, Ocar at 821 on my stems, definitely going to bring that. Yeah, this was uh, more the colour I need on my stems. <laughs> yes, I did see that, I did, I did, I did see that video, I love him. Okay, and then... Um, before we do anything else, I need white. Now, I've just picked up my museum one because I had this out when I was using Bonnie and I bought an extra slight spare one, but you can go up any white. This is a really nice creamy white, actually, and it is a watercolour pencil, but believe me, this is another white. Dra the drawing set of Derwent, uh, your Chinese white, that's really nice, as is your luminance white. Any white, you don't have to choose this one. I will put in the description any white. And that's just going to knock back the colour a little bit because it is quite light in the middle. Okay, <clears throat> then we need our cap at Morton Violet that we had earlier. Um, so that is 263. Don't worry, I've got you in the uh, description. So don't worry about jotting this all down. Just take a screenshot of when I've done it. Give me about... 40 minutes after my stream and it should be in there for you and I will ca categorise it of what I used it on. Okay, so we just got to add the very tip. Like that, just a touch. Hey, you Bridget. Oh, you're so sweet. That's absolutely fine. Thank you for popping in. Oh, you're so sweet, you guys. 713 again, you've all got such hectic lives and you always try and stop in and I find that so humbling and so sweet, thank you. And if you're lurking today, that's also the same for you guys because you're obviously busy and you still got me on. Okay, so that's really nice and subtle as well. Okay, perfect. So, let me just look at that a second, does it have a white stripe down it? No, it's the green. Okay, I'm just going to pick up my earth green a second. And I'm just at the side of the line, just going to put a little hint of that. Because it's got this green line running through. Very, very subtly. Okay, I'm going to pick up my Posca. No, I'm not. I'm going to pick up my buff titanium. And you know that bit of cap at Morton? I'm just going to blend the edge out. So smush it in. Now I'm going to pick up my, um, my Posca. I'm just going to take out the uh, main the main line at the top because it is so light. You don't 
particularly one. Now, you don't have to do this bit. The only reason I am is because this, the stem and the buds are even lighter than that part. So it's also got a tiny, I'm just looking at my reference picture again, sorry. It's also got a tiny bit of like light that runs through, you know, like a tiny hint of it. Because where it's a baby and it hasn't quite bloomed into colour yet, it's got like um, a bit more white running through it. So I'm just trying to pick up on that and it's got that on this bit as well. Um, so I'm just trying to pick up on where it's actually got some highlights. <clears throat> no, Mona. What are you cross stitching? Have you got a particular pattern that you're doing? Is it a gift or is it for yourself? Like that. So it's they're more light than your main bud. Right. If I come up. So that's how they will look. So if I continue that, they will be all identical. And as I said, those, if you can see, it's got the slightest hints of yellow otherwise and the slightest hint of the cap at the very top, but otherwise it's a very pale. And then it's the same with these. These are paler on the outside and as they come into the middle, underneath the actual flower, they're a little bit darker. Take care, um, Emma. Um, so they will all be very replicant. Now, with the hair, if I for the next stream I might get an extra stream in if I'm not overlapping anyone because I never know when to come on I'm like will I overlap someone I'm not quite sure so then I end up leaving it um so if I end up uh working out the the order of the Pablo ombre hair we'll do that again because we've done that before and the skin I'll leave till the last thing I think which I'm looking forward to doing. And then obviously the background will be very, very um, minimal. But I've actually been on for two hours now, which has gone really quick. And I know I've only done succulents, but we've worked it out because then the rest of it will be exactly the same. So remember for the next session on her, which will be next Tuesday, um, unless I'll get on any time before that, the combination of right it's in the I'll put it in the description it's in a playlist from before I'll work out the order so I'll just put like this is number one this is number two this is number three etc etc and I'll work out what I did um because it's been such a long time and then I will put them in order and we'll do that on on the next one which I love doing here so I'll be in my element um and I'll have the rest of those succulents done which will be handy but Thank you so much for joining me for the past two hours. Connie is on. Oh, thank you. I know. It goes so quick. Yeah, one hour, 57 minutes. By the time I stop my chit-chatter, it'll be over two. <laughs> it's gone so quick. Um, but I will see you Saturday. If any other time, I will just... It, it will be spur of the moment and I'll be on. But I have really, really, really enjoyed starting her because at least now we've got a plan. We know where we're going. And at least now um, I know what colours I'm doing. So that is my main thing, which I love. <laughs> oh, thank you. And remember, remember, if you want to join us and you've got the Symphony of Cute Animals, we're doing this one. If This is not on stream. This is just in our own spare time. There's no time limit. And look at me being all with my flowers at the moment. There's hibiscuses. Don't know the name of those. Can't remember the, the orchids, um, the parrots, the toucan, and the gecko. So if you want to join us, head on over to Instagram. And um, if you also want to join us on the stash attack, that's all year. All year. And if you missed the beginning and you want to see the new Mystic Art Mirrors, then please uh, just pop along to the beginning and I'll, I'll flip through it for you guys. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'll see you in Connie's stream. I'll, I think, yeah, I've only got to pop in and out for the first bit. Uh, take care, lovelies. I'll see you on the next stream. Until then, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Ah, uh, nice, Caroline. Ah, uh, take care, everyone. Bye. <laughs>